Next up, at UFC Vegas 90, we have Dylan Budka. Dick Budkiss. You know what that's from? Well, I know who Dick, Bud- Dick Budkiss is. Oh, no. What is it? Uh, damn. In King of Queens, when he's delivering that package to that, that ridiculous name, what is it? Oh, Stanley Budka. Kipkiss? No, it's like Budka. <gasps> People have commented specifically they hate those noises. Anyway. Is this dude in the chat still being an absolute turd? I can't tell. Phantom's about to lose his fucking mind in the chat. I tell you that. Just a vase. Okay. Well, this guy's gone. Can't keep saying that word. Bye. Okay. Next up, at UFC Vegas 90, we have Dylan Budka taking on Caesar Almeida. Dylan Budka, 7-2 and two overall, 4-1 and one in his last five. He is riding two wins into his UFC debut. He's taking on Caesar Almeida. His entire MMA career only consists of four fights. He did get four wins in those four fights, and he is making his UFC debut after a very successful long kickboxing career. Think Alex Pajeda. And in fact, he fought Alex Pajeda. They fought three times. He went one and two, so he did You're get smoked me. twice. He did get smoked twice. He but beat, he beat Alex Pajeda. You shit me? One time. Yeah. No, no shits. He beat him one time. But Caesar is a very big, very good professional kickboxer. He's had the success that you would expect from somebody with those credentials. And uh, he does everything you'd expect him to do. He's got good king combinations, big power, good work. He's very dangerous every second that a fight remains standing. His takedown defense, though, kind of unknown. We haven't seen enough of him to determine if he could defend a takedown or not. Yeah, he defended seven takedowns on the Contender Series, so that might be enough for you to say, all right, well, we saw him defend those, but those were different. Those weren't clean shots. Those weren't like beautiful, nice setup takedowns. Those were like trip and drag attempts, and those are a lot easier to defend than if somebody's actually on your hips shooting a takedown. Overall, Cesar Almeida, very dangerous striker who is going to need to keep this off of the ground. He's taking on Dylan Budka. This guy's a solid grappler, big takedowns. He will lower his level. He will actually shoot right up the middle instead of looking for those clinches and those trips. And when he gets it to the ground, he does a good job working the positions, taking his time. He's not rushed. He's going to look for a submission instead of a TKO. He's not a very good striker. And it's funny because I've seen other people break him down and classify him as a striker. I would not do that. He's not a very good striker, but he has no issues charging forward, letting his hands fly He's coming off a decision win in the Contender Series, which earned his debut. Grappler versus striker matchup. I got to go grappler here. Obviously, he can get clipped, and that could be the end of that. But I do think Dylan is going to lower his level, shoot takedowns. Lower his level, get to a leg. Lower his level, attack the hips, and get this to the ground. And until we see Caesar on the ground, we don't know what he's going to be on the ground. I have to assume he's not going to be ready. Dylan Budka is going to be the pick. And you can see his line movement here. He opened at a plus 145 dog. He is now a minus 140 favor. So I'm going Budka. But again, I don't really trust him enough. And here's the problem with you opening these cards, okay? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be honest with you in front of everybody. It's killing the vibe of the show. Because you're... And this is a true... I'm, I'm being honest. You can do with this information what you want. It's killing the vibe of the show. Because instead of paying attention to me... maybe throwing everything out everything you say. Maybe instead of paying attention, throwing out I'm something I'm not allowed funny, to fucking interrupt. People say don't interrupt, so I'm just, just I'm just ADHD. Attention. I'm just doing what I'm listening to you. I'm just doing what I need to do, just, so I don't interrupt. And now I'm getting yelled at. You yell at me cards. after every podcast, dude. You can't interrupt. You can't interrupt, dude. They don't like when you interrupt. So I'm sitting here not interrupting, and now I'm getting fucking yelled at from not interrupting. What do you want from me, Angelo? Tell me what you fucking want from me. Please. I never wanted you to open cards. What, what do you want from for me? For sure. I never huh? wanted you to open cards. So CBC, I want you to just be fucking here. interrupt you or don't interrupt you. You want me to hold your dick? You want me to shake your dick? What do you want me to do? I want you to be a part of the show that we're doing right now and not do like your own thing and hold shit to the camera and then jump back and forth. That's what I would like. So why don't you tell us who you think wins in this fight, please? I, I gladly. 
because you, you, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong when it comes to this fight. Cesar Almeida is the, the much better striker, and we've seen what he can do, not only in his takedown defense, he got taken down a couple times, so what did he do in that fight? He got back to his feet nearly immediately every single time, and a couple times, he had some nice sweeps. He had this dude in the Contender Series fight sitting on his face in a reverse triangle looking at his corner like, I think I bet the over one and a half, so I guess I'm not going to finish him now. Or maybe I'll finish him later. Just completely embarrassing that guy on the ground. Now, this is a different animal in Dylan. I agree that the takedowns are probably going to be a little bit better, but Dylan is a college wrestler. I think he only wrestled in college for a year. I don't love his takedowns. Not only do I not like his takedowns, I don't like his control. He has been fighting kind of other wrestlers and other grapplers, so maybe that does play a part, but his entries I don't like. His striking I definitely do not like, especially against a dangerous striker like Cesar Almeida. I think it's actually Cesar. Cesar? C I don't think it's Cesar. C Cesar? 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 I don't know. I think, I think actually it might be Cesar or something like that. Uh, against Almeida. So I, I think that Almeida keeps his standing. And on the feet, I don't think Dylan stands a fucking chance. So uh, I, I've seen the takedown defense from, from Almeida. I think it's going to hold up. It's, it could be a lot of Dylan being strong and holding him against the fence. But even in those moments, Caesar does a good job of scoring points, elbows and strikes. So if he's just holding them, I think he can still win rounds doing that way. So I'm on Almeida here, and I feel decently about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, listen, I'm on the other side. I do tend to favor wrestlers and grapplers because I do think it's easier. Well, I guess we'll find out. But I think it's easier to just immediately start shooting than it is to defend all those takedowns because what ends up happening is then you don't really trust your hands because if I commit, he's going to shoot and you can get in your own head. He only has four professional fights in MMA. I'm picking Dylan. Are you like trying to sneakily open a box like a fucking fat I'm kid? Trying to, I'm just trying to be quiet yeah. about it so I didn't interrupt, but you're the one that interrupted yourself. You want to do sure. fucking $300 on this? Dumb bitch. Fat No, I just bitch. said I'm not confident enough in Dylan. Fucking butthead. Okay. I'm not one. confident <laughs> enough. Remember when that was the thing? Fuck butthead. Butthead. <laughs> butthead. I was like, like I, dick liquor was always funny to me. I don't know why that was a funny one. What, I enjoyed about that. When you're like a fucking like a six year old butthead. My kids don't say butthead. They're not allowed to. Well, that's a nineties thing. So I would hope. One of them said butthole. And we're like, no, no, you are not allowed to say that. And one, one of them just looked at me one day and just went, ah, and I'm like, all right, well, I'm <laughs> not coming back here anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, the um the little one somebody in school said dumbass so oof yeah these schools anyway uh Jacob and I split on this fight he's going striker I'm going grappler personally I think you can get the takedowns get it happening get it to the ground get the control time rack up those points eighty five hundred dollars may be worth it but certainly. If you're on the Caesar Almeida side, then you know he's going to drop this dude. He's going to put some stuff in there and uh, potentially finish him. Are you going to spend the $7,700 on your boy? No, because he, there is there is an opportunity where he does get taken down and, and control. Like, obviously, I, I don't see that, but there is that that path. And, and the finishing ability, I mean, even in that fight that he won in this, his contender series, it's... You know, I didn't think that his strikes looked like crazily impressive, so I'll probably stay away from it. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So Jacob screaming about the striker, talking about I'm going to bet three hundred dollars on him, uh, backing off the striker when he's an underdog in DraftKings. But that's just bad, dude. How that goes because the card thing is really driving me nuts. Do not do this for the UFC three hundred breakdown. Do it here, whatever. Not the three hundred breakdown. And the uh, comments are overwhelming. I'll be, dude, I'll be honest with you, and this is kind of funny, uh, but you can't fucking tell me what to do, so. Oh, okay. Well, if you don't care about what the people want and the growth of the channel, then yeah, you just continue doing you and just ignore feedback. That's fine. That's you. That's what successful people normally do. I'm just going to start pinning all the comments that are stupid about the cards. Let's see. Give me 30 minutes to find one. They seem to love the card openings. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, Look, I got this chick again. Who the hell is this? Do you know who this is? I can't read the name. That's why this whole thing is so stupid. It you can't even focus. see him. It you can't focus. read him. They're shiny as hell. It's distracting. You're half distracted. Like, it's dumb. It's stupid. It's stupid to do this. But you'll just keep doing whatever the hell you want because you're just a man child. There. Hey, do you know who that is? Yes. She beat the shit out of Hannah Goldie last year. Really? Mr. Man. 
Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.